Okay, so you've gone through unboxing the panel, you've mounted it, uh, you've gone through the welcome menu, accepted the terms and conditions, and put in the time, the date, and time zone. Now we'll go over the ports, show you the remote, pens, the sound bar, the hardware pieces, and then how to set it up on the network and do updates for this, uh, this episode. What comes in the box? You've got the wall mount, which is there. USB cable, USB-C cable, a nice long HDMI cable. We'll go over the ports now. On the front here, you've got the uh, home button, back button, volume up, volume down, settings button. Uh, you've got some person in the room sensors. You've got some uh, air quality sensors. Uh, you'll see this RM is, has low blue light and antibacterial and antimicrobial that we'll talk about. Uh, these eight dots here are noise canceling microphones that you can use for the record feature on our panel. Here's the NFC card reader. So you can take an F NFC card reader to log into your profile which connects you to the Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive. You've got a USB 2, a USB 3, a USB-C, which equals the touch and HDMI or DisplayPort cable. <clears throat> You've got a dis HDMI in the front of the panel along with another touch. So that's convenient. Here's the remote. Um, and the remote also comes with, a, with this USB dongle. Uh, and, you, and you don't want to mix them up. They're paired together. Um, so don't just throw all the remotes together and leave the dongles in and mix them up. Uh, there's a USB 3, the blue one there, USB 2, uh, two more touches, two more HDMIs, a VGA for your legacy. Um, there's a PC audio in. Uh, down under here, <laughs> We've got a RS-232, HDMI out, um, looks like a coax. Uh, so the HDMI out would be for uh, full HD out, and even annotations will be shown, and you can go panel to panel. Uh, here you've got the power button, on off switch, and outlet. Standard Visa in the back. Oh, and I almost forgot there's also a opening for a slot PC right there. And this board will have dual operating systems or, or on the screen you can show two different, uh, two different OS's at the same time. Okay, as far as doing the update, this is going to be our main screen here, which is going to be consistent from line to line. Um, over here, you'll see this, there's a red dot there, which means there's an update. So I'm gonna go system updates, checking for updates. Um, there is an update, so I'm gonna download it. Oh, the other port I forgot to talk about was the RJ45 port right here. Uh, there's also a wireless card, which is a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth dongle that goes in the back if you don't want hardwire, if you want to be more portable. Um, hardwiring is always better. Uh, so we'll pause here and come back when the update's done and I'll show you the next thing. Okay, now that the firmware panel has been updated, we can either click on this easy right logo there or just the whiteboard. So I'm going to click on the whiteboard. Um, and then you'll see there's a red dot over here, which means there's an update available. So after we've updated the firmware for or the firmware for the system, then we go in here and look for an upgrade, update, upgrade, and now we upgrade the Easy Right. Um, so that's that's the steps I wanted to show you on this video. The next one I'm going to go to is how to set up the account management system, device management systems, Exxon broadcast software and demo what that looks like. Thank you.